Hi everybody, this is me, Steve Harris, and I'm broadcasting this to you from Kenwood in North London. That's very close to Hampstead Heath. I don't know if anybody knows Hampstead Heath. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. I feel terribly relaxed and very privileged to be able to bring this video to you from such a fabulous place. I'll show you some more sites very soon. Just want to give you my seven top tips to be able to help you produce your own video presentations. So please listen out for these seven tips. They're very simplistic. You really will be able to feel confident in producing your own video content just as soon as you've seen these tips. And I can't wait to share them with you. So we're going to move on now. I'm going to show you some other parts of Kenwood. I look forward to talking to you in a minute. The first of my seven tips is just step outside the box for a minute. Have some fun, relax, and just try and think about informally producing your own little video. Now, when I say informally, you have or will have, very lightly, a webcam attached to your laptop. Or you may even have a separate facility to be able to record a video, as I am to you right now. This is a flip cam. Get it, set it up, put it on a table, prop it up on some books, which is, which is ever easier for you and just hit the record button on your Facebook page or your YouTube page if you haven't got a Facebook page. Most people have got Facebook pages. Hit the record button, just say something informal. It can be one, two, three, hi, my name is Steve, whatever it be. Just feel relaxed about whatever it is you want to say. Press the stop, watch it over. See how you feel about that. Do this a few times because you'll not be happy with it first time round. Once you think you've got it right and you're happy with that, Maybe send it privately to a friend, ask them to comment on it for you. Get the feedback, draw confidence from the feedback, I hope, draw inspiration from that too, and then maybe move on and do something more uh, involved after that. I'm going to tell you a bit more about the next stage in just a minute. Okay, moving on to our second tip. The second tip is for you to film yourself just for 20 seconds introducing your name, maybe the company you're representing, or possibly the services that you want to offer. And that's it. So we've got your name and the company and services that you want to offer. Nothing more than that. Keep it slow, smiley, happy, and just feel relaxed. Once you've recorded that 20 second clip, if you're happy with it, send it to the friend that you confided in earlier, just to make sure they think that works for you. And then we move on. Okay, here is my third tip. Lens position is really important. Please make sure the lens position is in line with the eye. So that means if you're working from a laptop, prop the laptop up so the lens is in line with the eye. If you have a camera like I am working with right now, which is a flip cam, and we'll go into that in a bit more detail later on, then please try and find a tripod that you can put that onto and um, again, you'll be able to film more effectively by having the camera in line with the eye. We'll move on. Okay, so my fourth tip is about mess. Mess actually really matters. So if you're doing video and it is in your own office or you've created your own studio, don't have an untidy bookshelf behind you. Keep everything tidy. Keep the desk tidy keep your background tidy because that will enable the viewer to tune in and watch you not the mess so mess matters keep it tidy and that is my full tip to you what a glorious view you can see in the background Kenwood House this is where I'm broadcasting these videos from today fabulous grounds you can see it really is beautiful it really has got its skirt on today as they say I want to tell you about the fifth tip the fifth tip is all about glasses Yep, these things that we have to wear frequently. Sunglasses, if you're recording video, take them off. People don't want to be looking at anybody through sunglasses. It's very impersonal and it just doesn't give the right impression and it'll turn your viewers away very quickly. The other thing is please try, if you can, not to wear glasses when you're actually recording video in front of your computer screen. We don't want to see the reflection of the screen in your glasses. Happens very frequently and it's a put off. So there is my fifth tip and we're moving very quickly now on to my sixth tip. We'll see you there. Okay, here is my sixth tip and this is about lighting. 
Lighting is really important. So when you have got a dark room light, try and find a lamp or something close by that will just brighten the general picture. Remember, when your viewers play back what you've recorded, if it's dark to you, it will be dark to them, regardless of whatever equipment you have. So please make sure when you play back, your face is bright, it can be seen, smiley, lovely, and that's how your viewer wants to see you. So that it keeps them connected with your presentation and it obviously doesn't make them bounce off. So that's my tip, keep the light bright and be seen. Okay, so we're now on to our seventh tip and what a glorious place it is here. Fabulous views. This is Kenwood, another part of Kenwood. My seventh tip today is really about getting outside that box as I mentioned to start with. Finding creative areas for you to do your video. Try and get one of these little flip cams. They, they, they range from around $100 up to maybe only $200 for the top of the range version. And then tell people about things that you want to offer them and produce for them or help them with and that's about video that's just about being transparent being a person and communicating simple messages to a mass audience through this fantastic medium that's about it from me um, from a very very sunny london town this is me steve harris saying thanks for joining me on this little journey bye for now